Today we're going to learn how to make jello shots. I'm specifically to making jello shots for Halloween. So what I did was I went on Amazon and I purchased Halloween jello shot syringes. So what they're called is they're called Joy Jello. And this is the syringe. And to make it more Halloweeny, they were very inexpensive and you can purchase them right on Amazon. Now, to make a jello shot, what you need is one cup of boiling water. So let's just put this aside and we'll safely measure it so there is no mistakes. You want to make sure you measure it right because you don't want to make it too watery because then it won't refrigerate properly and format properly. So here we go. We have one cup of boiling water. Then we're going to take the jello and we're going to open it up. This one is berry blue. Berry blue seems to be a very popular one that a lot of people seem to enjoy. And you pour it in. And then you take a half a cup of cold water. I like to use filterized water or water like Poland Spring. I never use water from the faucet. It has a different taste to it. And I don't particularly care for it unless there is a filter on your water system. Then by all means, use your water in your sink. So then you take a half a cup of cold water and what you do is you blend it really well and just keep blending it gently until everything mixes well and then take the vodka i picked today um, to use the red white and berry uh, vodka because this is blueberry and so i thought it would make it it would taste nice and correspond well. So usually, you can, if you don't want it strong, you could do a half a cup of um, vodka. But I already did um, a half a cup of vodka. So just to get my friends a little tipsy, we're gonna go for the one cupper. And one cup of vodka. And then I'm going to blend it one more time just to make sure everything is equally blended. Because sometimes the sugar on the gel gets put on the bottom and gets stuck to the bowl. So you just want to make sure you kind of scrape the bottom of the bowl a little bit. That way it's very um, well blended. You got all the sugar, everything's even, so it tastes really good. Now with these syringes, it's really easy. What you do is you take off the cap and you pull it up. And they have it where you could actually measure if you want to do just buzzed, tipsy, or wild, or you could do the whole thing like I'm doing and let them decide for themselves. I think I'm gonna be doing the wild. Okay, so this is it and that's all it is and if you don't, want to purchase the um, syringes you could always get the cups in the grocery store they sell them in the bacon aisle but for halloween especially since i'm going to have some friends over i figured why not go with the theme make it a little bit spooky and a little fun and that's it that's all you need to do so you need a half a cup of cold water one cup of warm boiling water and just let it sit and boil. Once you see it boiling, then you just shut it off and keep the top on so it stays and remains warm throughout the time. And then you put, like I said, the cold water is a half a cup. And then you take a 
a half a cup or a cup of vodka. A lot of people just use regular, regular vodka. After this, I'm gonna make the orange ones and I'm gonna use citrus vodka just to give it a little bit of a, a flowing citrusy type of taste. It'll blend really well. You don't really taste the vodka too much and um, it tastes really good and very easy to do. And just make sure you measure everything properly. Make sure you blend it really well. Use your packet of gelatin and that's all you have to do. And you got your jello shots. Let it refrigerate for about three to four hours and it should be ready. If you see that it's not exactly ready, let it go and let it stay in the refrigerator for a little longer. I always like to do it the night before, give it time just to make sure it's not watery and that it's well formulated. So, you know, I like to do it the night before. That way, when you're going to sleep at night, you got, you know, at least seven or eight more hours where it's actually in the fridge and formulating better. So that's it. And you got your jello shots. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comment box. And I'd love to have you subscribe to our channel where we do lots of videos on all different types of topics from holiday recipes to foods to ways to improve your overall health and lots more. So feel free to subscribe to the channel. I hope you like this video. Leave your thoughts and comments and we'll see you soon.